Right, here we are in Denford, lovely Denford. The river's looking quite high and we're at another stretch of the Northamptonshire boundary walk. Sue's just making the coffee there. And today's stretch will take us to High and Ferris. Well, not quite in time, Ferris. We've parked a day by just before it because, you know, we weren't sure where we could park in there. But we're pushing about 15 miles this time, porting 15 miles. So, yeah, so let's get to it. Obviously not anymore, just a steep slope now. So this would have been an old railway track? I guess it would have been. Difficult to imagine now. At least the steps down this side. Yeah. Swim anybody? Hmm. Not sure how to get through this because we go around here and then you attacked by brambles <sighs> probably just gonna have to get wet feet oh no Sue's doing it in style. Yeah. Busy road. Crossing the busy road. Cool, we've survived. We want to take this with us. And if we get too warm, we can always wind the window down. The route took us through a field with some horses in and they're showing quite an interest in us. So we decided to go down this track and we joined the proper route further down. Things we do to get the route. Go for it, so go for it. Oh, she's so brave. Look at that. No problem. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Hey, I've lived. We've lived to tell the tale. Glorious sunshine. Oh. Yeah, you would get too well to get two horses on there at one time. Yeah, maybe. Quite a nice little track. But we're lucky with the weather as well today. It's been awful over the weekend.
We did spot some evidence of the recent storms. Let's hope it's not a crack house. This seems a long old stretch. We'd be glad to get to Hargrave so we could have a sit down and some cakes. Northamptonshire. Finally, we reached the village of Hargrave. Well, there's a church, there's a bench, hopefully, or at least a stone porch. porch in the lovely church at Hargrave which sadly isn't open so we can't explore but we've got the next best thing we've got lots of cakes to explore and other goodies I'm gonna stop here for a bit a bit of a refreshment We got a bit lost at this point as the path wasn't very clear on the ground so we were hoping that we could make our way across this field boundary and pick it back up in the next field. I reckon if we just go back down there we're back on track. waterfall there and a bridge. I have to walk down this busy road for a bit.
what leads to nowhere really. No, I was thinking it was that track that that isn't marked on here, but that's a bit, not still a bit further up actually. Yeah, it's a bit later yeah, on. Yeah, when you get to another point. Hopefully we'll get through. It's just not marked as right of way on the map. The route took us through a large area with wind turbines and loads of solar panels and it felt quite eerie. In fact, we both said afterwards it really felt as though it had been an old airfield. After we got back, Sue did some research and found that during the war there had actually been an airfield here, but it had been totally dismantled in recent years. It did feel as though we were walking down a very long runway though. Finally we were done and out onto a normal road. Yay, Caldecott. Have some have some late lunch here. Well, why not? Right, I think this is us here on the corner. Just leaving Caldecott after lunch, late lunch. As we walked for the last couple of fields, we could see a lad riding a bike backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards across the field, but we just assumed that he'd got permission to be there, until we saw the Land Rover chasing him. Oops. And here we are, back to our lay-by, just before Highham Ferris, so yep, yeah, another section ticked off and probably about 14-15 miles done so a longer stretch this time it's just started to rain so that's a bonus <laughs> 